You want to see the new John Deere 8000 before it releases? Me too. Let's check it out. Yo, what's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to an early first look and showcase of JA Modding's John Deere 8000 series. This is probably going to show up in your mod hub in just a few days, showing as the 8110 slash 8410 because we have multiple different options through there. We've also got the ability to open up doors and all kinds of stuff. We've got lights on the interior. We've got American versions. We've got EU versions, multiple different wheels and weights and it's awesome let's check them out once this is available you are going to go into vehicles you're going to go into medium tractors and here you're going to find it the 8000 series starting off at eighty thousand dollars 183 horsepower 200 liters of fuel 27 miles per hour so pretty standard older john deere right here so as far as the glass goes we've got three different 10 options you have uh, what well, says weak ins insole film Basically what it is, is it's medium or no tint, medium tint, dark tint. That's what you got going on through there. Design, you've got a standard, you have the additional flashers or you have the additional boards. So that's gonna be for your European look. Then we have the same versions with a chrome pipe exhaust through there, or you could do none altogether. Then you could go into a shorter pipe with the American and EU versions or back to standard again like the Americans, so we're gonna stick with that. Attachers, so we have low support weight with multiple different wheel or uh, weight options. I don't know how much these weigh because it hasn't said it in here yet. Imagine it will once it releases, and then we could put those up high as well. So if you've got a, um, let's say you've got a different type of implement, maybe you have a trailer versus a three-point implement on the back, uh, you may need that weight to be higher or lower center mass depending on what's going on. So keep that in mind engine setups we have the 8110 again with 183 horsepower we have the 8210 with 205 horsepower the 8310 with 227 and rounding it out the 8410 with 261 horsepower that's your biggest engine then weights so these are all going to be michelin tires do keep that in mind starting off we have the balloon tires we have the balloon with weights we've got duels in the back duels in the back with weights we have a row crop row crop with weights dual row crop in the back dual row crop in the back with weights D dual row crop all the way around stick some weights in the back and then back to standard again so you do one one thing that's actually uh very cool and i think might be very popular is this setup right here it is a it was an older tractor smaller tractor uh, you cannot put any front loaders on here so do keep that in mind but i think this is going to be a very popular version of it right here single row crops all the way around getting some smaller work done in the fields i think that is going to be a great use for this as far as checking it out well we've got this version here i've already got like everything turned on with it so let's go over here to the european version let's cut on our help window and see what we got with everything pulled up we've got fold and unfold that is going to be the stuff in the back so regardless if you are in the american or the eu version that is what's going to do that through there. We've also got, well, open and close cover. Now, what is that doing? Well, if we jump over here, it's not gonna be doing anything until we turn on the tractor, which we'll do here in just a second. And then we have the rear window. You can also close and open the rear window, please. Oh no, wait, sorry, <laughs> that's the door, my bad. You can do the rear window if you want, but you've got the side door here, which you can open and close and the light will come on, which is pretty cool. Then you've got your rear window. You can open and close this if you want. You got a latch on there, all kinds of goodies through there. Lights, so we have your standard front lights. We have brights. Do we have anything that pops up at the back? Nothing in the back yet. So we have more brights for the front and then we have our all around lights. And then you've even got a light on the interior of the tractor as well. So one, two, three, four, five, five. And then all are off. Tons of stuff through there. Uh, we do not have beacons. However, if you're on PC or if you're on PlayStation using a side panel, uh, you can change a few things. So we have turn signals through there, right and left. And you've even got your four-way flashers. That's what they're gonna look like here on the front. And if we go around through the back, here's what they look like on the back very very impressive impressive tractor so i mentioned that we've got the option to change something on the interior well let's close up all this 
and let's take a look at the interior animation when we turn it on. And so now we can change the cover. So it says closed cover and open cover. Basically you have a show between spraying and you've got pretty much everything else, planting, etc., whatever you want to have going on through there. Uh, and one thing, it works. <laughs> it shows you RPMs, mile per hour, things like that, which is pretty cool. Even shows you in this setup as well. Also here on the side, you have another thing. So you have your RPMs going on right there and you even have your, uh, I believe that's kilometers per hour, something like that. Of course, we're showing a miles per hour down there at the bottom. Max speed, it said 27. However, if we give it the beans, 24 miles per hour seems to be our max speed. That's okay, nothing too crazy through there. Sounds great. All the animations look good when you're outside the tractor, which is nice. And then you can look down there. We have a throttle adjustment and then we have a gear select as well. All of the pedals work, which is very, very nice to see, but you don't have a throttle pedal because that is on your hand. So only brake pedals and clutch, maybe something through there. Speaking of, check out the top right here. So you've got your gear select, which puts it into gear. And if we're going backwards, it will select the reverse gear there as well. And then, yeah. <laughs> you've got a beeping light or a beeping uh, thing there too. But that's only if you, well, I say only if you want it, uh, you gotta have it. I think it's cool, man, I like it. Otherwise, there's really not a whole lot else to this. Uh, as far as lights all the way around, I'm gonna go into the easy development controls real quick. And I can remember, here we go. Let's go ahead and go to, how the was that? Nine o'clock at night, something like that. You could see the brightness that you've got at night. So not a, Front headlights, bright headlights, brighter headlights, working lights all the way around. And then you have a light in the cabin too, which is very, very cool. You can even see that everything lights up for you on the inside of the cabin. So there you go, you got that. And then I love the addition of that light right there. And then if you need to get out of the, <laughs> for whatever reason, you have another light on the other side. How neat is that? I think that's pretty cool. But this allows you to kind of be able to get some work done on the inside of the cab at night uh, if you want to. You've got lots of light, easy to, oop. Oh, we're about to run into that, aren't we? Well, let's, let's go ahead and run through it anyway. <laughs> hey uh, But yeah, in a nutshell, that's kind of it. There's not a whole lot else to the John Deere 8000 series from JA Modding. A beautiful tractor isn't it yes it is and there you go that is going to be it for today's first look and preview of ja modding's john deere 8000 series also known as the 8110 8410 huge shout out to ja modding for sending this over to do an early video on if you guys want to check him out i'll leave tons of links down in the description below for you guys make sure you check him out show him some go ham fam love and as far as that that is it for today hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure you drop a like on it get subscribed to the channel if you're new and join the Goham fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. Always up. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.